Hello! I'm back again! I did say it would be quick. Uh, I am uh, the Satch. There are two left to finish here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it through. We got this. We're gonna start off with our physical range. Get us some XP. All right, Seeds of Disquiet. The Doman Delegate is secret, seeking able-bodied adventurers on behalf of Lord Hien. Do mine eyes deceive me? Master Dima, oh, think the kami. Lord Hien has requested assistance in the resolution of a most urgent matter. The hunt for a fell beast believed to be a blasphemy. Though we have made great strides in ensuring the safety of our people, we fear even our finest shinobi will be no match for this enemy, for it commands the skies of Doma. But as your talent for striking down foes at a distance is beyond compare, I can think of no one better to aid us in overcoming this adversary. So, it would be my pleasure. Oh, call me be praised. I shall inform Lady Yugiri that she may receive you at the Domain Enclave. Safe travels, Master Dima. Thank you. That's very nice of you. To Authard. Oh, right. Domain Enclave. I can do that. You can just teleport right there. Actually, I think I need to, uh... Um... Turn in stuff at the Domain Enclave anyways. So, that works out. Yep. There we go. What about this? What will this give me? 38. Alright, that's not bad. Now I got my Dome and Enclave turn in done. And we go talk to you, Gary. Good to see you, Dima. When we received word that you of all people had answered our call, I could scarcely believe it. Yet here you are. I just want to play Dom Trail, but I feel like I need to finish this first. Lord Hien will be pleased for this reunion. If you would wait here a moment. Well, well, that the kami should guide your steps to our door once more, and with such fortuitous timing. Pray forgive me for not affording you a hero's welcome, but time is not on our side. Not long after receiving word of men transforming into hideous beasts in Thavnir, a similar creature was born of a woman in Asari. After attacking another villager, it took to the skies and fled, though to where we know not. too cruel twist of fate, for the one slain among the prisoners returned to us in that deplorable exchange with the Sahi and the Empire, just when they had last begun to at last begun to piece their life back together. This blasphemy must be stopped. Alas, our foes want to keep to the skies, well beyond the reach of our samurai and shinobi. Thus did we seek the aid of those proficient in ranged combat, able to pluck the beast from the heavens. Of course, martial prowess alone will not solve our problems. Others have turned into weaker, but no less gruesome abominations, as was the case in Thavnir, and their numbers increased by the day. From what I understand, this phenomenon is not unlike a sickness which spreads by feeding on fear and anxiety, emotions which, of late, can be found in abundance. Slaying the beast means nothing if the people's hearts cannot be put at ease. Lord Hien. You have to help. The villagers. They... They... Sir, please calm yourself and tell us what happened. Another has been turned in Namai, my lord. For a blessing, no one was harmed when the beast flew into a rage, but the people are in a panic. I fear what may happen next. But but I defeated depression! It would seem we have even less time than I thought. Worry not, I will see to the beast. As of yet, there is no cure for this affliction, but we will save what lives we can, I promise you. I trust you are ready to join the fray? 
It was last seen, seen near the glittering basin. Come, I will show you. Joshua, I will beat it up. I will commit a violence. Next villager. The beast was right here, I swear it. Thank you for leading us here, but it is not safe. Please return to your village. It, this is gorgeous. Look at the detail on the textures. We should split up if we're to have any chance of finding it. Dimma, would you see to the west? I will search in the north. Yugiri, leave, I leave the east to you. If you find it, remember, these blasphemies are no longer people. They will not hesitate to strike you down, so you mustn't either. Now, let us not waste any more time. On the bright side, uh, I'm no longer have to worry about wasting XP, quote unquote, because everything needs XP now. So doing these quests now is actually very useful. I'm banking! Where is my enemy? Mine enemy. Mine friend. There we go. Give myself a dance partner. Save the child. Are you alright? We heard shouting and came as fast as we could. It would appear Dima arrived not a moment too soon. Why? Why did you kill my brother? Ooh. Your brother? Young man, that creature was not your kin. Not anymore. Had he not laid it to rest, it would have killed you and countless others. But if your heart cries out for one to blame, let it be me. The beast was slain at my behest, for it was the only way. No, no, you're wrong. You killed him, murdered him. I hate you. Poor kid. I I missed what he said. Guess I'll have to read back. See, it's see. What are you doing here? Searching for Tonbo, though clearly you found him first. The monster was his older brother, as you may have guessed, and Tonbo gave chase the moment it ran off. I beg you, forgive him for his outburst. His brother was all he had left. Their father was conscripted by the Empire and was, regrettably, not among those returned to us in the recent exchange of prisoners. The hope they may one day be reunited was their only comfort when that... when the Viceroy still ruled. I can only imagine how they felt when she walked into Isari, a shadow of her former self. Tsuyu may have had no memories of the monster she was, but her victims still see her in their dreams. Nevertheless, like many, the brothers prayed your mercy would see their family restored. But then they learned of her death and of their father's absence. Deprived of hope and of hate all at once, they had nothing. Uh, my, my apologies for rambling. No, no, it was a rather enlightening tale. I spared the woman who brought him pain and took the brother who brought him some um, comfort. I. I would hate me too. I swear, I will set things right for Tongbo, for all the people of Doma. 
Please return home, Missy, and be safe. Let us return to the Domino Enclave. This ordeal has given me much to consider. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, his brother's all he said left. You're wrong. Oh, I didn't miss it. Okay. I thought I missed something. Until I learned about the teleport um, button, I didn't know how to get to the Domino Enclave. Again, <laughs> I got stuck. I owe you a great debt for your timely assistance, and an apology, for I've made you an executioner in Young Tongbo's eyes. Would that I had been the one he witnessed cut down the beast his brother had become. But we haven't time to dwell on regrets and what should have been. No, we need to take action, and after hearing of Tonbo and his brother, I believe I know what must be done. A great many of our brothers and sisters were returned to us in the prisoner exchange, but even so, there are those who yet remain lost to us. Meanwhile, Yatsuyu, who was directly responsible for much of our people's suffering, was never held to account for her crimes. In death, she claimed vengeance for her suffering at the hands of her brother, but it came at the expense of justice for her countless victims. The people of Doma have every right to resent me for failing them and their grief. What of those who cannot bring themselves to do even that, who are left alone with their anger and their pain? They may well give way to despair, and then... They would share the same fate as Tonbo's brother, yes. Which is why we must needs consider who else might share in his anguish, ere we find ourselves beset by more beasts. I will begin making rounds of the villages to inquire after those whom their neighbors believe are more distressed of late. Very good. And I and the other shinobi shall continue our search for the blasphemy which set these events in motion. And you, my friend. We will have need of your talents again ere long. Rest assured, we will keep you apprised of our findings. Good. As you should. Keep me apprised. Now, apprise me again when the kami answer. Lord Hien's extended absence from the Enclave does not sit well with you, Gear. Ah, Dima, we have yet to ascertain the whereabouts of the blasphemy from Azari, but for a blessing, we have received no reports of others that have turned. Lord Hien, for his part, has made a concerted effort to go about the villages and converse with his subjects directly. I suspect his constant presence has served to allay the people's fears. As one might expect, he has ever been dedicated and diligent, but I fear he has been away over long. Though, to go and visit what should have been his last destination, sorry, I thought to go. Might I ask you to accompany me? Thank you. I am sure there is no cause for concern, but nevertheless, I should be glad to find him quickly. Did he get kidnapped? Oh, Hien. Hien, Hien, Hien. We're gonna uh, use the... I thought that guy was, like, uh, doing the Mandeville stance. We're using the, um... Heaven's Ward strats of traveling. We're going up here and then we're gonna go down. Faster. Yeah, I don't I don't 100% know what effect the roll quests in particular have on the MSQ or if it does at all but I really want to get them finished beforehand just so I can feel that sense of accomplishment and in case there is something that it does affect or some context that I'll be missing if I haven't done it, um, I would like to finish them. I wanted to do the same with all the class quests, but uh, hopefully just me having picked up and completing most of it will be enough. 
Oops. Thank goodness we found him. But why has he remained here so long, I wonder? Did not mean to talk to you, Yugiri. Demai, Yugiri, my apologies if I gave you cause for concern. Assessing the state of affairs here in Asari has proven difficult. To Pardon me? To put it simply, the people, one and all, refuse to speak with me. They simply bow their heads and turn away at my approach. Knowing the blasphemy originated here, I cannot help but wonder if it ha if that has aught to do with their silence. Perhaps you could attempt to engage with the people in my stead? Surely they have no cause to deny the two of you. I should hope not. Nevertheless, I will don a disguise, lest I draw undue attention. Come, Dima, let us see what we can discover. Thank you, both of you. There they go. Tomato. Hello, burly villager. I owe a great debt to Lord Hien. If not for him, I would still be fighting under the imperial standard. But the village suffered dearly under the occupation. What's more, a lord failed to punish the viceroy for her crimes, and failed to unite, reunite many with their loved ones. I understand why some would think poorly of him, even if I do not. The... Which... It is... Very tricky... To turn this up without it feeling off. Okay, I think that's okay. A blasphemy? You are mistaken, my friend. Our village was visited not by a monster, but by a kami. Izanami. Where Lord Hien is cold and callous, she offers us boundless compassion and love. What? I am very concerned right now. I am also concerned. Aye, that's right. The blasphemy was born of a young woman here in Asari. Tragic, really. Every day she prayed for the safe return of her husband, but it was not to be. If I am to be honest, I fear the loss drove her poor mother-in-law mad. Kisei has ever been a devout believer in the kami and their blessings, but she somehow convinced herself that Minato has become one. The delusions of a grieving parent, obviously, but an alarming number of people have come to share in her belief. Hearsay is what it is. Heresy is what it is. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Someone is still sane. Oh dear. I see. Little wonder they refuse to confide in me. The belief held by some that this blasphemy is a kami, however, is quite concerning. Izanami presides over life and death. She gave birth to the nation of Doma and ushers souls of the departed unto the land of the dead. I trust you understand what it would mean to deny them a source of hope in such dark times, even one such as this. The villagers also claim that this Kisei can speak with the dead. In fact, she will be holding a gathering to demonstrate her pow powers ere long. The perfect opportunity to gauge the extent of their fanaticism. Not for me, of course. My presence would draw undue attention. Might I ask you both to attend in my stead? Yeah. Her followers will be gathering in the tavern. Come. Yen's too fancy. He can't do things because everyone knows who he is. He's... He's too famous as a ruler. I am also fancy. O oh, spirits of Isari, I beseech you, lend me your voice and let your presence be known. Cross the veil and be among us once more. It's 
still tending the nets, like I taught you? Y yes, Father. Every day. Thanks to you, we never want for fish. Our bellies are never empty. I was... I am proud to be your son. I was always too embarrassed to tell you before, but... And I am proud to have been your father. May you be ever blessed by the sea's bounty. Ah, uh, uh, it hurts. Father, what's wrong? He is in terrible pain, my child. Those who have cheated death's design yet live. It has disrupted the natural order and the spirits suffer for it. What must we do to ease their pain? Fear not. Izanami shall put all to rights. She will claim the souls not long for this world and deliver them unto hereafter. When her work is finished, your father's spirit and all the others will find peace. Can you find my father? Can you help me speak with him? Kisei, Kisei! Can you commune with my husband? What about my family? Help me, Kisei, please! So, is Kisei's ability all she claims? I don't know, is it? I can't tell. A young man spoke with his dearly departed father through her. I find that rather hard to believe. Even so, those in attendance appeared quite convinced, my lord. I love the ombre on Yugiri's horns now. She, her updates are phenomenal. And I suspect a great many of the villagers I've spoken with here recently are as well. Everywhere I went, the people were in so much pain, and there was nothing I could do or say to give them solace. Yet for all their anguish, there has not been a single report of villagers turning since the incidents with Tonbo's brother. Which can only mean word of Kisei and her ability to speak with the deceased has spread. The belief we can commune with our loved ones in death is a comfort far beyond my words, my power to provide. Though I fail to see how the people would abide the kami claiming innocent lives to restore order. She comes! Izanami! The blasphemy? Here? Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Lord Hien, the Kami, she, she appeared as if from nowhere, and in the next instant, this poor man was... was... Oh. So we were too late. Spoke with him before in Asari. Wasn't he one of the villagers returned in the prisoner exchange? You recognize him then? Curious that he and the blasphemy's first victim were former conscripts. 
What could the fiend be after, I wonder? It does not become my lord to speak ill of the kami. Cult leader. I understand you are come to investigate the rumors of a monster born in our village. A blasphemy, you called it. But you are sorely mistaken. My daughter-in-law, Minato, was chosen to serve as a vessel for Izanami. I witnessed her ascension with my own eyes. Uh-oh. Here we go. Minato, please. Can't. I won't. There's no logic in it, no justice. The Witch of Doma spared, given a second chance. My husband, condemned to die as a conscript. I'll never know what became of him. Lord Hien can't give me even that. And when I look at the families he made whole, at their happiness, I feel the hole in my heart. The gaping wound that will never heal begin to bleed. Only at my beloved's side will I find peace. You mustn't lose faith, Minato. All will be well. Trust in the Kami and Izanami. I want to believe, but... Oh, that, that is... Yep, that's a blasphemy, all right. Izanami has come to bring peace to the souls of the departed, to restore balance between their world and ours. Surely you would not dare defy the will of the Kami. Pardon me. This balance you speak of has claimed the lives of two innocents, but recently returned to us. I cannot, I will not accept that the Kami could condone such cruelty. No crueler than the sight of Yatsuyu free and forgiven, while my husband and son fought Garlemald's wars, now dead and forgotten in a foreign land. With all due respect, Lord Hien, is it not your duty to protect Doma and her people? How are we to place our faith in the man who places the enemy's safety and well-being above his own subjects? Only the Kami are, Kami are deserving of our adoration, as they have always been. Yet she did not have memories. He couldn't punish her because she didn't exist anymore. The villagers are no doubt loath to ask it of me, but preparations must be made for burials and funeral rites. I can offer that much, at least. You seem distracted during our conversation with Kasei. Is something the matter? The echo. And the blasphemy was indeed born of Minato. To bear witness to such horror, how her mind must have struggled to comprehend what she saw. And as a woman of faith, perhaps her only surviving family becoming one with the divine was the only reality with which she could come to terms. I believe I know now what must be done, but I pray her fervor does not drive her to oppose us. Come, let us return to the Enclave. Oof. 
That's gonna be a rough one. Oof. Oh dear. We are gonna have a hard time dealing with that lady, I can tell you that much. From what you told me of your vision, the nature of Minato's despair, as well as the focus of her ire, is clear. Tis plain she was a good-natured and kind-hearted woman, grieving for the loss of her husband. This loss alone may not have been enough to turn her, but my failure to hold Yatsuyu to account, together with the sight of other families reunited, compounded the turmoil in her broken heart. A path to despair paved by my good intentions. A truth that will weigh heavy on my conscience until my dying day. Minato was prepared to die in sadness rather than live in hatred. If she could see the beast she has become, she would implore us to stop her. Which is why we must find the others who were returned to us in the prisoner exchange before they can come to harm. Once their safety is assured, we may hunt down the blasphemy and bring them close to this tragedy. Or you'll put them all in the same spot and she's gonna go after them. Kinda worried here, Ken, not gonna lie. Um, no longer. There is work to be done, yet Yigiri appears reluctant to take action. Ah, Dima, if you are come to ask after the blasphemy, I have naught to share, as if yet our shinobi have seen no sign of the beast. The returnees, however, are all accounted for, and Lord Hien has seen them safely to Kien Kam. As such, he is presently assisting with the hunt. For a blessing, there have been no reports of other villagers turning, and yet... Before the situation takes a turn for the worse, there's a matter I feel warrants further investigation. Kase. No villager of Asari, I suspect she may in fact hail from my home, Suino Sato. Knowing they would be loath to answer my inquiries, I entreated the Kojin to contact Suino Sato in my stead. While contact with the outside world is kept to a minimum, I have ever maintained relationships with the Blue of Tamamizu. At mention of Kasei, however, their cordial warmth turned strangely cold. If we are to learn more, I fear we have little choice but to go and speak with the people of Suino Sato ourselves. A simple visit for you, I imagine, but my banishment complicates matters. That said, it has been many years since I left home. Were I to disguise myself, I might well go unnoticed in your company, if you are willing to take the risk. It, I mean, I can, but I feel like it's wiser to just let me do it. So that way, you know, we don't both get kicked out and banned. Thank you. Let us make for Onokoro then. Fly Dargons. Are hey, you Gary? What are you dressed up as? Oh yeah, that's not suspicious at all. They definitely won't recognize you. Oh! Never mind. The garments I wore when we first met. Sufficient, I think, to conceal my identity. Maybe. <sighs> How many years has it been since I last saw home? I am a shinobi of Doma, I, but even as a child I sought to ensure the safety and survival of Suinosato. I was quite bold in those days, if not a touch reckless. And together with the other children, I often ventured beyond the borders of home. We yearned for adventure, and so, one day, we sought to behold the wonders of Doma. Imagine our horror to discover a city of ruin and ash, imperial soldiers marching through the streets. 
We fled at the sight, but in my haste, I lost my way in the bamboo groves. It was there I first met a young boy named Shun, a sweaty mess as he swung his wooden sword with reckless abandon, training to fulfill his duty as a samurai, he said. Having seen the destruction of which the Empire was capable, I too felt the need to protect my home. I joined him in his exercises, and every day my resolve to protect those I love grew. Sadly, my elders refused to listen. They were content to remain hidden beneath the waves, and hopefully the Empire's notice. With a heavy heart, I left in search of the strength I believe we sorely needed. And as I found it as a shino and I found it as a shinobi. But the people feared war and conflict would follow on my heels should I return. I do not begrudge them their decision, nor do I regret my own. Part of me is overjoyed at the thought of seeing home again. Openly defying the wishes of the Ruby Princess, however, would bode ill for my family. They have suffered enough for my transgressions. That is why, for their sake, I will remain not but a faceless shinobi at your employ. Thank you. With that in mind, let us make for Sui no Sato. It is kind of interesting. Yep, she's wearing the full outfit. That's adorable! she got little kitty ears, basically. All these years, yet not appears to have changed since the day I left. But now is not the time to reminisce. We have work to do. Kasei's departure from Suinosato is likely decades ago. Perhaps the village elders will know why she chose to leave. Yugiri is now accompanied. Okay. Yugiri, come along. We go. Say, the name sounds familiar, and yet... Apologies, friend. My memory is not what it once was. Let us seek out another. Mm. Oh, I see one. No. Kai and I... Wait a minute. Is that a quest turn in, or is this this quest? Shiosai will be bringing her out shortly. He should be but a few moments longer. What the fuck? Is this a different quest? I ran into a different quest. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> um. Oh, Hisui, why, why do you refuse to open your eyes? Dima, there is something you must know. I am not the Ruby Princess's younger sister. In fact, she has no sister. I am the Ruby Princess, the ruler of Sui no Sato. Oh! Okay. Um, yeah, this is definitely a different quest. <laughs> the slumbering girl before you goes by the name of Hisui and is my dearest friend. We have known one another since childhood. Your grace, I am entirely to blame. Had I been more prepared, more aware, Lady Hisui would not be in this sorry state. You see, a few days ago we received visitors from the outside. They had come to perform a court trial. To protect the Ruby Princess from any potential dangers, we decided to conceal her true identity. I had her lady-in-waiting, Hisui, take her place, as she and her highness bear a great resemblance to each other, something owing to the fact that they are distant blood relatives. I was confident no one would notice the switch. I was right. That is why, when proceedings commenced, it was Lady Hisui who became possessed by the terrible fiend they summoned, and now... Well, you can see for yourself what has become of her. To mitigate such disaster, severe restrictions on who can enter and exit Shisui of the Violet Tides have always been in place. In fact, even the Ruby Princess is forbidden by law to leave its gates. When wraith after wraith began appearing, however, I was left with little choice. 
I whisked her highness away to the village and had her pretend to be the ruby princess's sister, Kuranai. Kuranai. That was the name I had before my mother passed away and I assumed the title of the ruby princess. It was also the name Hisui would call me by growing up. As far back as I can remember, she was there for me, from the best of times to the worst of times. All the laughter and tears we shared. Sui, is this truly where it ends? Forgive me, Your Grace, this is my fault. There was only a way I could go back and prevent all this. Chiyosai, there is nothing to forgive. None of us could have predicted this would happen. You are no more to blame for what has happened than I am. Dima, now you know everything. I hope you do not think any less of me for my lie. Oh. Well, maybe this will contribute to the quest I'm doing right now. <laughs> now that everything here has been settled, I shall be departing from Suino Sato. To cure Hisui's condition can only be the cure to Hisui's condition can only be found above. I know this because, as Ruby Princess, it was my duty to study all the available writings at the palace. Very well, Your Grace. Where would, where would you have us go? No, Shiosai. I shall be embarking upon this quest on my own. You will be staying here. The people need you to protect them in my absence. Her grace has made it clear she would have me remain behind. Master Dima, might you accompany her in my stead? While Lady Hisui's body remains, her soul has long departed. I fear that no amount of rest or magics can cure her. I can only hope that in traveling with you it will make it easier for her grace to come to terms with the tragic fate of her friend. Till such a time she must face this truth, however, I ask, nay, beg, that you keep her safe. Got it. Um, okay. That's, uh, not what I expected to run into here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that in really quick. Oh, we'll talk to the Chiro Fool Elder first. My, it has been quite some time since I last heard that name. She was a priestess of the village, banished after drawing the ire of the former Ruby Princess. What has become of her after all these years, I wonder? Is there anything you can tell us? Hmm. Yunagi was clo quite close to her, if a memory, ser memory serves. Perhaps you should seek her out. Mother and I had... Mother. I had hoped to avoid my parents, but if there is no other way... Dima, might I ask you to take the lead? Oh, hello, little red mage! You are offering to accompany me on my travels? That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you. I shall give you some time to prepare before leaving Suino Sato. Please come find me as soon as you're ready to go. Uh, 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 um. How much do you sell for? Three of those sells for more. Okay, uh, well, with that awkwardness out of the way... <gasps> Torgal! My love! Look at the fluffy puppy! He's the best boy! Hello, Yunaki! I definitely don't have your daughter with me right here. Tis good to see you again. To what do we owe the honor of your visit? Thirst. I thirst. Kisei. Yes, we were close. That was a long, long time ago. Still, if I can be of assistance to the man to whom we owe so much, I will share all I know. Kisei was born to a family of priests, and even at an early age, she was possessed of extraordinary abilities. 
Much was expected of her, but everything changed the day she said she could speak with the dead. No one believed her at first, but she continued to insist she could, and strove to prove it by demonstrating knowledge well beyond her years. Knowledge of events to which she could not have been privy. Word of her talent eventually reached the Ruby Princess, and she was summoned to Shishui of the Violet Tides for a private audience. No one knows what Kasei said to her in the palace, only that the princess was incandescent with rage and ordered her exile forthwith. Some believe Kisei revealed a terrible secret to the royal house, or perhaps broke a blatant falsehood that proved her a liar. Indeed, the knowledge she claimed to divine from the dead was not always truthful. But who is to say the dead would know the truth, or not seek to deceive? Thus, we could never be certain if it was simply a fantasy or a power divine. But one thing is certain, that no small number of people found comfort in her words. Would that I could tell you more, but sadly I have not seen or spoken with Kisei since her banishment. Forgive me, but have we met your companion before? She looks familiar. <laughs> I believe this is our first time our humble shinobi has visited Shinosato. I imagine she does, considering she's you. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You could not possibly know me. I am but a lowly shinobi of Doma, nothing more. Being a shinobi, I presume you have heard tales of Yugiri Mistwalker. Should you chance to meet her, may I ask you to deliver her a message? Tell her that her mother and father love her, that we could not be more proud of her. I... I will. I have no doubt she feels the same, and not a day goes by without you in her thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> I believe we have heard enough. Shall we return to Onokoro? She's gonna kick my ass later. But that's okay. It was worth it for the lulls. And the heartfelt... Uh, conversations. Apologies for placing you in so peculiar a situation. Though I must confess, it did my heart good to see mother and father well. All the more reason I must do all I can to keep the peace, as a shinobi of Doma. No, as a member of the Eastern Alliance. Mayhap there will come a day when Sino Sato opens to the world, a day when Yugiri Mistwalker can be reunited with her mother and father. But that Lord Hien could be afforded the same opportunity. But Lord Kayan and Lady Mina have long since passed. Two of too many lives lost in the Imperial occupation. I cannot imagine he would ever succumb to despair, but make no mistake, Lord Hien knows the pain of his people all too well. I can see it in his eyes, and if I may be honest, it troubles me at times. But perhaps I have said too much. Come, we mustn't keep him waiting.
Welcome back. I trust your journey proved an enlightening one. We saw some people and some things and I talked to someone else on accident. So she does, in fact, hail from Suinosato. You say she has possessed these divine gifts since childhood. Genuine or no, the people believe her and more flock to her side with every passing day. But the re returnees are safe at Kian Kiankan. Its defense is bolstered. As for the blasphemy, I have spoken with our Confederate allies, among others, and together we will establish a network of contacts across the length and breadth of Doma to take up the search in earnest. Mark my words, we will find it. I know we shall. Uh, give me one moment. I have, unfortunately, people bothering me. So, in the meantime, also cat ones out. Enjoy this little dance. And I shall be right back. that was muted. Uh, my apologies. Uh, anyways, like I was saying, um, I'm not <laughs> not actually gone. I just wanted to try and figure out something with my game because it's been a little wonky and I think I fixed it. Because um, it, was, it was having problems. So I'm going to try and work it out. I think I have. Alright, do you want out or do you want me? You are not allowed to eat me, but you are getting in the way. Okay, let's go back to the live scene here, and then we can turn off that, that loading screen, because I'm here. Okay, yeah, it's working better now. It, so it was set to full screen, which has normally not been an issue. The lighting's all janky now, though. What the heck is going on?
Yeah, it the lighting changes. Oh. Never mind. It's because the in-game lighting was different. Anyways, um, let's see if it keeps doing the weirdness. Okay, and then I click back in, and it does the weirdness. Why are you doing the weirdness? You have never done this before. But it doesn't appear to be showing up on stream, so I'm not going to worry about it. Anymore. To clarify, I know I've been worrying about it. Kitty! You are a menace! There's a cat in my life. So, if I sound weird, it's because she has forced me to move. The devoted daughter. Hikiri appears armed and ready to leave the enclave, which can only mean one thing. You like kisses? Would you like a smooch? No? Okay. Just put hair on my face and walk away. Nah. You've arrived not a moment too soon. The blasphemy has been sighted on the coast. For a mercy, there are no reported casualties as of yet. Just the man I was hoping to see. No sooner had we cast wide our net than a confederate messenger was at our door. If you would join us, Rasho awaits our arrival at Onokoro. Kitty go yawn. Kitty go yawn. Mwah. You smooch. You smooch to the kitties. Smooch to the kitties. Mama getting messages. Leave me alone. Play my video game. Peace. Oh, there we go. Still family messages this time. I may actually have to reply to this. Am I making weird noises? Okay. I'm selling things. Ow! Kitty. Well now, that the local nor noble lord uh, that the noble lord of Doma should come in person once again. Mayhap these blasphemies truly are a threat. Indeed they are. And I was told you and yours cited our quarry quite recently. Show me where, show me where, I'll go bonk it. Aye, that we did. Near the islands of Shoal Rock. The beast appeared to be docile by all accounts, but appearances can be deceiving. If it is as you say, and this blasphemy has eyes only for former conscripts, we have not to fear. I trust those we accepted into our care are still in yours at the Kien Ken, enjoying the finest dome and hospitality. Upset. He's being sassy. Anyway, I know not why it came to the Ruby Sea, nor why it remains idle. But if we act quickly, there is a chance we can take it unawares. I propose we divide our forces. If you're willing to go ashore, we'll take a ship and circle about the islands. The first to find it will have the honor of the kill. Huh. Simple enough plan. Shall we be off to Shoal Rock, then? Kitty doing a purr. Kitty doing a purr. Right. I'm gonna go fly. I'm cheating. I'm cheating in this game. I'm flying. Thank you for the kisses, Kitty. You're very sweet. I love how the um Endwalker roll quests are frequently not as much combat. It is interesting. Are you done, kitty? You want out? Okay, kitty wants out again. Oh my gosh. Kitty.
and about to cause problems, as kitties are wont to do. <sighs> and now we settle back in. Me. Me. There we go. This is where the blasphemy was last sighted. If fates are kind, this will all be over soon. Well, see, there's uh, at least one more quest left, so I don't think they're going to be kind. As long as Hien doesn't turn into a- oh! There's the thing. Speed. I doubt even my falcons can keep pace with it. Ugh, don't tell me that's the blasphemy flying off into the distance. I had hoped Ill, the ill will it bore me in life might compel the beast to stay and fight. Perhaps less of Minato remains than I thought. Minato? That monstrosity was Minato? You knew her. Her family tried to flee to Hingashi during the occupation, but their ship was raided and sunk. When we happened upon the wreckage, she was huddled between her parents on a piece of floatsam, desperate to keep warm, but they had long since grown cold. We took her to Onokoro, where we nursed her back to health. Couldn't imagine what horrors she must have witnessed. The mere sight of our weapons was enough to make her start screaming. She was clearly unfit for our trade, so we sought a village that might take her in. Isari was that village. Several months later, I chanced to meet her by on this very beach. She was in the company of a young Ari fisherman, and I knew at once she had found more than a home there. I saw them here many times after that. She found something comforting about this place, I think. According to reports from Rounds at Han, the memories and desires of those who turn can influence their behavior as blasphemies. Then perhaps Minato's memories are what compelled the beast to come here. That would also explain its timid nature. Minato was never one for violence, and the sight of you, blade drawn, no doubt stirred that what little of the woman remains in the monster. That's the case, an assault on the Kian Ken is unlikely, guarded as it is by our samurai. But how are we to fight an enemy so quick to flee at the first sign of danger? Robbed of her parents, her husband, and now her life. I would rather we didn't have to at all. But I understand full well the risk we take by doing nothing. If we catch sight of the blasphemy again, you will be the first to know. Perhaps next time we can put her soul to rest. Mm. These are so sad. That is so sad! There is not to do now but bide our time. Come, let us return to the Enclave. And pray return to the Waking's Ends. I think after this one I will be taking a legitimate short break. Just to rest, recover. Cause oh my gosh, it's just my brain blither. Well, it's more my voice, but yeah, um, staring at the screen reading for, what, four hours is definitely taking its toll. We'll try to get through at least the Endwalker roll quest tonight and then we can start on Dawn Trail tomorrow, hopefully. Given what we have learned, it seems likely that the blasphemy will return to Shoal Rock, but that knowledge will avail us not if we cannot prevent it from escaping again. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Lord Hien, on behalf of the people of Asari, we come with a request. We welcome you with open arms and open hearts. What is it you would ask of me? 
Those returned to us in the prisoner exchange have been granted shelter at the Kian Khan. Yet, that they yet live is an affront to the Kami's grand design, and the spirits of our loved ones suffer for it. Balance must needs be restored, and so I beseech you to render them unto the goddess Izanami. What? Absolutely not. Damn right, Hien. Tis not our place to pray for the death of others, nor draw steel to sate mere bloodlust. When I take a life, be it by command or by my own hand, I do so not in service to vengeance, but to uphold my duty to Doma and her people. How did your mercy for Yatsuyu serve your duty? How were your people made better by the sight of her walking free? For her crimes and her cruelty, I cut her down the day we took Doma Castle. I sought to kill her, and by right she should have died then and there. But the Kami willed otherwise, and returned her to us alive and bereft of her memories. With no recollection of her deeds, it would have been Suyu who faced punishment, not Yatsuyu. This was my judgment, and for it you were denied the justice you deserved. You have every right to resent me. But you come before me and ask that I sacrifice men and women whose only crime was to suffer, to be condemned to a life of servitude. If you truly believe your cause to be s sacrosanct, believe yourselves fit to bear the burden and swing the sword, then step forward. Sophistry and lies. They were meant to die. The spirits demand it. Are these the words of the dead, or the living who yet mourn? <gasps> he is here! He is here! He's back. Word of the Asari priestess and her gifts has spread far and wide, and I thought to see the truth of it myself. By coincidence, I crossed paths with a traveler hailing from the selfsame village, who had a mind to return as well, but, alas, could not. And so he bid me deliver a missive in his stead. Judging by the striking resemblance, I take it you are the young fisher Akitsu. This, this is a letter from my father. He was severely wounded in battle, but expects to make a full recovery. He's alive, but that would mean... Surely a woman of your talents can divine a plausible explanation for this turn of events? You shall pay for this contumu, con contumely. My daughter will make certain of that. Questions and no answers. Apologies for the abrupt and otherwise unannounced arrival. As you can see, my lord Hien, I am returned. Full glad am I for it. Thanks to your timely arrival, we have been given we have given the lie to Kasei's claims of preternatural powers. I gather you are apprised of recent events? Aye. It did not take long to learn the state of affairs here in Doma, and that my assistance may need be required. I had heard tales of Kasei's channeling the dead, including the father of one young fisherman. Imagine my surprise when I saw his spirit in the flesh. 
He was also on a pilgrimage, paying respects to the departed, and we chanced to meet at a Liberation Front infirmary. Would that we were not brought back together under such circumstances, but I am glad to see you all hale and hearty. Oh. I am very glad to see him back, and glad that I did this quest now, because otherwise if he popped back up in the story I'd be confused. Or maybe not. Uh-oh. Tonbo, is something the matter? I, I wish to apologize, Lord Hien. It was wrong of me to say the things I said. I understand nothing can bring back my father, but I was so angry I... Please, Tonbo. You needn't apologize. It's just, my brother was always so brave, but father's dad death was more than he can bear, and it turned him into that monster. If he wasn't brave enough, what chance do I have? We wanted to perform the rites for father, but the body was never returned to us, so... N not that I blame you for that, Lord Hien. I understand nothing could be done. Kitsu's father survived as nothing short of a miracle, but I fear he is indeed the rare exception. I have offered prayers at more graves than I can count. It would be cruel to give others the false hope that their loved ones might return. And yet, Kisei continues to do just that, offering comfort with her lies. Tempting but ephemeral balm for wounds that have yet, yet to heal, much like the anger some harbor for you or resentment for the families restored while theirs remain broken. But for those like that poor boy whose hearts lack for hatred, who know only sadness and despair, aye, they too may turn. Exposing the truth of Kisei's deception hasn't helped matters. We are, are to prevent more suffering, we must pursue a lasting solution. It would be most grateful. I would be most grateful for your counsel, Gosetsu. There is much I could learn from your pilgrimage. If there is aught you require, but say the word and it shall be done. It is the least I can do for the part I played in Yatsu's tragedy. I failed her in the end, and I will not fail you, my lord. Thank you again for your aid, Dima. The day's events have given me much to consider. When our next step is decided, you will be the first to know. And here we go. I assume. Hmm. There might be two more. Yep, there's two more. Yuguri's stern expression suggests she has no good news to share. Regret regrettably, there have been no sightings of the blasphemy since our first encounter at Shoal Rock. As Tan Sui surmised, it seems of to fear confrontation. We, for our part, have tried to make good use of this intervening calm. Even now, Lord Hien and Gosetsu discuss how we might prevent other villagers from turning. If you would wait here a moment, he would no doubt wish to hear your thoughts on the matter. My thoughts are we should look harder. Dima. So glad you could come. As Yugiri no doubt explained, the blasphemy continues to elude us, and so we have turned our attention to other matters we can and should address. After long discussions and much deliberation, we believe we have found a means to allay the growing malaise of our people. If you would, Gosetsu. The idea came to us after considering young Tonbo's remarks about his father, whose body was never found and returned to Doma. Others no doubt share in his melancholy, unable to bury and mourn their loved ones as is their right. Put simply, they cannot make peace with their loss. Their anguish, if left to linger, may consume them all as well. That we might provide the people of Doma some comfort and closure, we will hold a national funeral at the Salos Compass. Those who choose to attend will be asked to present personal effects of the deceased they wish to be enshrined there. Spirits reside in all things, be they living or inanimate, and though we may die, 
a part of us lives on in the items we cherished most in life. Therefore, in lieu of remains, these belongings will be afforded a place in the royal mausoleum, that the spirits of those lost may find their way home to Doma, and at last know peace. The announcement has already been made, and a great many people are now engaged in the difficult task of deciding which keepsake will serve as their offering. Tis not a decision to be made lightly, but I suspect they may have made up their minds by the time we go to collect their chosen tokens. I also hope to learn more about the, depart the departed from those willing to speak with me, for my benefit and for theirs. To break free of their sorrow they, mu sorrow, they must seek joy in the memories and love they shared with the departed, and I will help them find it. Might the Liberator of Doma be willing to favor the people with his presence as well? I doubt not that they will appreciate the gesture. Good. Yugiri, I leave the people of Asari to you. Gotsetsu, may I, I ask you to... Apologies, my lord, but there is a small but most urgent matter I must first attend to. What are you doing? What the heck is going on? Very well, I shall not pry. Now, Dima, let us go and pay a visit to the good people of Namai. Hmm. Questions, 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 and no answers. Okay, here we go to Namai. My throat, my throat. My achy break is right. And I gotta work tomorrow again. I don't want to. I want to play the video games. Hey, Hien. Right then. Before we begin, I would remind you that you need only listen to the tales of their loved ones. As overseer of the ceremony, I see it as my duty to deliver their effects personally. Because of this, it is of the utmost importance that we keep clear of any beasts that might damage our cargo. It goes without saying how important it is that their offerings are delivered in pristine condition, and I will be no good to you in a fight while heavily encumbered. If stealth or flight are not options, I must ask that you fight for both of us, but we needn't worry unless the occasion arises. For now, let us be off. And Hien is accompanying me. I'm surprised I didn't just have everyone come to the ceremony and bring the items. That seems like a much more... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to get in your face, my dude. Uh, much more fitting way to do this. I must thank you again, Lord Hien, for this honor. My son would have been overjoyed to know that his katana would be enshrined at the Salo's comp Swallow's Compass. Nay, the honor is mine. I'm sure your son was a fine warrior. Aye, and so was I, once upon a time. A samurai, as it happens, in service to your father when the Empire first invaded our lands. Though we were defeated, our spirits broken, my son, Motusui, was never one to lose hope. He was determined to follow in my footsteps, gave his everything to honing his skill with the blade. When I watched him train, I felt the pride I thought I'd forsake and swell in my breast and I knew he would restore our family to its former glory. Alas, he could have fled, perhaps started life anew as a vagabond of some sorts, but he bore the burden and fought for Garlemald, for fear of what the Imperials might do if he did not. Tis plain he was a loving son and a warrior true. I will care for his blade if it were as if it were mine own and see it given the honor and respect due of a samurai of Doma. Hmm. Uh, over here. I guess we're gonna get each of their stories in a little cutscene. My husband, my dear sweet Maroya, never returned from Garlemald, but perhaps now his soul might know peace. Please, take this painting brush to the Swallow's Compass. I shall handle it with the utmost care. 
Might we trouble you to tell us more about your husband? Maroya was a kind and gentle soul. There was nothing he loved more in the world than to create. That brush never left his side, not even when he tended the fields. Any spare moment was dedicated to his craft, and he produced the most wonderful vistas of Yangsha. It was his dream to take us to Kugane, where he would become a famous artist, until he was conscripted. In the early days, he would send drawings of the places they took him, though I know not how. But more time began to pass between each arrival, and then they stopped coming altogether. I know not in what far-flung land he died, but I pray it was as beautiful as his works. He sounds like quite a man to hold fast to his art, even when forced to endure such hardship. His soul will find peace, that I have no doubt. it's quite large, but I wanted to offer this on behalf of my brother and our father, Suzu Shiro. If you are willing, I would very much like to hear more about them both. My father, he... he was a carpenter. He was a good man, if a bit stubborn, always thinking about his work. The only time he ever seemed to enjoy himself was when he had a cup of sake in his hand. When my brother came of age, he took up the trade as well. It brought them closer. I'd see them laughing over drinks together or listening in silence to the crickets singing under the moonlight. I wanted to join them one day. This was their favorite sake. I thought they might miss it. Oh, I'm sure it will taste all the sweeter having come from you. I realize no one can ever replace your brother or father, but if you will allow, I would be honored to share drinks with you in their stead. When you are of age, of course. Hmm. This should be everything. Would you join me for a short reprieve before our journey back? I am... Very glad I made the snap decision to actually do these before starting Dawn Trail. Because it does feel like I'm finishing up the last threads of Endwalker. And the details that miss were missed. It's like tying up all the loose ends of the story that spanned the past decade. I think it's good to give it its time before we move on to our next adventure. They put on brave faces people of Namai are still racked with grief. It is the same at every village I have visited in recent days, but it is only now that I am struck by the contradictory nature of my goals. Having joined the Eastern Alliance and taken steps to revitalize the Enclave, I believe Doma was at last on the path of peace and prosperity. I still do. Yet by focusing so keenly on the future, I have neglected the past that yet haunts my people. Even if they do not give in to despair and become beasts that plague our lands like poor Tonbo's brother, how are we to truly move forward if we are constantly looking back? You speak of their haunted past, Lord Hien. What of yours? Is there not someone for whom you self still grieve? Mm. 
Me? <laughs> All things considered, I suppose it was only a matter of time before the subject was broached. Ha! <laughs> he cuts to the heart of the matter, and the young lord. For the best, I should think, for he cannot lead by example if he has not yet made peace with his own past. A thousand apologies, my lord. I was passing through, tending to the matters of which I spoke earlier, when I chanced to hear familiar voices in the distance. If I may be so bold, people of Doma, one and all, understand the source of your pain. To lose your father in the turmoil of a failed rebellion. His staggering duty to the throne thrust upon you. Aye. How could you even begin to mourn when first you had to lead? It would behoove you to take part in the funeral rites, my lord. Take this time to make peace with your past, while it is still yours to spend. Though unlikely, if not impossible, for you to become a monster as well, Domo would surely be lost. Thank you for your counsel, Gosetsu. But if I may ask, why is it you keep your blade at the ready? I thought this personal matter of yours to be naught but a trifle, or am I mistaken? But, oh, I... I find the katana a superior tool for peeling persimmons. Speaking of which, I do believe my stomach begs for sustenance. You will excuse me. <laughs> Training. To help slay the blasphemy, no doubt. <sighs> Fitting that he should offer me counsel and yet refuse to heed it in kind. He is not the warrior he once was, but he is wise, our obstinate friend. If I am to be perfectly honest, it frightens me to recall it. The moment all it all came crashing down. We'd taken Doma Castle. Victory was ours. But then we looked out and saw the banners of the 12th Legion marching towards us. The crown prince at the fore. No sooner had Gosetsu and I escaped than we received word that Xenos had slain my father. I remember how the fight went out of Gosetsu in an instant, how he wept for his lord while I felt the weight of the profound duty bear down upon my shoulders, crushing, suffocating. The heat of my own breath, the chill of my clammy palms. But duty demanded I master my emotions. And those around me, Gosetsu included, were consumed by anger and a thirst for vengeance. I had to be in control. Under my orders, we dispersed and fled to fight another day. To this day, I have not stopped to reflect on my father's death. How could I, devoted as I am to finding Doma's way forward? Now I must, and so having taken you into my confidence, would you see this through with me to journey's end? The keepsake I would offer up for the funeral is hidden in a place not easily reached. We will have time to fret. We will have to fly there, I'm afraid, but worry not. My Yol will ferry us. Just a moment. Oh yeah, he has a Yol, I forgot about that. Why don't we just use the yoles? The place we seek is Plum Springs in the mountains, shall we? Like, we have these yoles to fly, why don't we use them to catch the blasphemy? Well, probably because they are slow. But, my point stands. This is one of the most beautiful spots in the game, by the way, if I am not mistaken as to where we're going. One of my friends uh, took a screenshot in this location and uh, wanted a little, a little, um, link or community contest thing. They did like a little glam contest for one of the uh, FC type communities. Yep. This is it. 
absolutely stunning location. All of these beautiful trees. Look at the little blossoms. You can actually tell they're blossoms now. My parents would bring me here for a Hanami as a child. Its beauty and serenity was such that I could forget the realities of the occupation. Indeed, some of my fondest memories of family are here, which is precisely why I chose this place to conceal the singular gift my father bequeathed me to me as a child. <laughs> Charming, is it not? The great auspice Kritan Dasheng said to reside somewhere along the Dire Yu Chain. In those days, anyone and everyone knew the tales of his prowess. Reckless boy that I, want, that I was, I once even tried to seek him out, hoping he might help us. I buried it here shortly after com my coming of age ceremony. It seemed a fitting place to both part with my childhood and offer a final goodbye to my mother. More a keepsake of mine than his, to be sure. But he was never a man of worldly possessions. Still, I suspect he would allow himself a rare smile if he were to see it again after all these years. So cute. And that is precisely how I wish to bid him farewell. With a smile. should go without saying I would prefer it not become known that I kept this doll here. Wouldn't want the children to grow jealous now, would we? <laughs> or people to tease you. And with that I believe it is time we return to the Enclave. Oishan. Oishan. Ah. There are yet more villages to visit and offerings to collect, but preparations are proceeding apace. Soon the people will have one less cause to be tempted down the path of despair. Of course, there still remains the problem of the blasphemy. The former conscript scripts will remain at the Kian Ken until it has been dealt with. We will slay the beast in due time, but before that, I would be honored if you were present for the funeral rites. Pray, speak with Yugiri when you next visit the Enclave. She will tell you more of the proceedings. Oh, it's gonna crash. The funeral, isn't it? It's gonna crash it and it's gonna ruin it. And it's gonna be terrible. And I will be mad. Laid to rest. Yep. Yugiri's somber expression suggests you have arrived right on time. As ever, your timing is impeccable. We are but moments ago completed preparations for the funeral. I will inform Lord Hien of your arrival. No! Oh, you're here. Excellent. The blasphemy continues to shun our settlements, and I mean to make the most of the time its absence affords us. I assume you were planning to take part in the ceremony? Glad to hear it. Unfortunately, Gosetsu will not be joining us today. He has injured himself, as I knew he would with his secret training, and now grumbles from the confines of his bed. But he will be fine in due course. We may worry over his convalescence after the funeral. <laughs> he needs to retire. Gosetsu, stop it. Oh my word. Okay, where did I put... Where did I put it? There it is. Wait. That's the wrong one. 
I need to go to Swallow's Compass. I dumb. Oh my gosh, look how that sparkles now. <gasps> it's so freaking pretty. Oh, I love the updated graphics. The one river. That one river over there? Oh, there's the mount. I did all the things for this. I did miss the, um... Dragon something one because I'm stupid and thought it was the Wrath Quest. The villagers should arrive ere long. Then we may begin. Here we go. This time. Oh, here she is. Lord Hien, I... I apologize, my lord, for my past transgressions. I yearned to believe my daughter was a Kami reborn, but you were right. She is a monster. Words can ill express my shame for advocating the conscripts be sacrificed to appease the dead. And what about you lying about being able to speak with the dead? Nay, the ceremony shall serve far, far better. And so, as a humble citizen of Doma, I offer my deepest gratitude and beg for your forgiveness. I would make an offering on behalf of my husband and son, as well as my dear, sweet Minato. I throw myself at your mercy, Lord Hien. Allow them a place within the mausoleum, that their spirits may know peace. There is no need to beg forgiveness, Kasei. Please, rise. Uh-oh. Yep. She will come for you. By the Kami, she gave her life to draw out the blasphemy?
Concentrate! I'm trying! I can't help but concentrate on the fact that I am hurt. It is nothing. Are you sure? Because I think it might be a little something. The weave of a shinobi's power. not good. Oh, it's Gosetsu! Apologies for my untimely arrival, my lord. Wait, he's a mage now? that staff pilgrimage proved a most enlightening experience and is where a chance to discover the benefits of aesthetic training I may no longer be fit to wield a blade my lord but Shu Deng Shu Gendo affords me another way to turn the tide of battle Stubborn as ever. Shall have to thank you later. Let us put an end to this. Do I still have dance partner up?
Just for the scratch. Just <laughs> for the scratch. What a fish food. You need your healers. Tip your healers and oh. Huh. I did it. Make sure you tip your healers. They have a, a thankless job. And by that I mean we give them all the comps. We thank them constantly. Bonk it! Bonk it! A deceiver to the bitter end. But she is still a daughter of Doma. She will have a proper burial and her family's belongings enshrined with the others. I have gathered you here today not to speak of the future, but to reflect on the past, to pay respects to loved ones fallen on the field of battle. In honor of their sacrifices, these sons and daughters of Doma shall be given a place here at the Swallow's Compass. Though they no longer walk with us in life, they will walk with us in spirit. Pray never forget their bravery, but the memories of their legacy give you comfort and strength. Maroya Mokokawa, the aspiring painter. He was a man who saw beauty in all things, and one day would have become a renowned artist in Kugane. Matsui Jito, the warrior in training. He longed to become a samurai like his father and bring honor to his family. Suzushiro Kodakumi, the carpenter. The man, a man wholly dedicated to his craft, who hoped to one day pass on his talents to his two loving children. And lastly, Minato Shisogaki and her mother-in-law, Kisei. Theirs was once a happiness to be envied. Minato's parents were murdered by Imperial soldiers, and after being rescued by the Confederacy, Minato was given into the care of the village of Isari. Though she arrived with a broken heart, it was soon mended by the man who would become her husband, the son of Kisei, who herself had been born to Isari on winds of tragedy. Kisei was a child of the deep, born in Suinosato. For her gifts she was exiled, but with her courage and tenacity found a new home on the shores of the Ruby Sea. She was a devoted wife and mother, and though not related by blood, she loved Minato as if she were their own. That is how she lived, how they all lived. 
and how they should be be remembered. Let your hearts swell not with sorrow, but with joy for their memory. Know that proof of their mark left on this world shall remain here, enshrined within the swallow's compass for all eternity. Let us still our voices and in silence pray for their souls, that they may share in the peace we have found. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting battle with a blasphemy as a prelude to the ceremony. At least now we may breathe easy, if only for a short while. The villagers have all returned home, and I believe it is time we did the same. Agreed. Oops. We've held a national funeral and slain blasphemies beside. Slain a blasphemy besides. A rather productive day, would you not agree? The former conscripts will be elated to finally return home. Speaking of returns, I think I speak for us all when I say your appearance at the Swallow's Compass came as something of a shock. What of your injuries from training? Quite painful for some time, I assure you. Despite my best efforts to reclaim my former skills, my back and my hips vigorously protested. I planned to sleep that I might be well re rested for the morrow's hunt, but a voice called out to me. I was needed, and so I grabbed my cane and ran as quickly as my ailing body would allow. The cane suits you, Kosetsu, but your mastery of healing magics was a sight to behold. Almost as surprising as your resurrection following the fall of Doma Castle. I am still but a novice in dire need of training. It is my hope that I will be able to refine my aesthetic arts during my next pilgrimage. Nope, he's going again. <laughs> so you are leaving then. Worry not, Lord Hien. Should you find yourself in dire straits once more, I shall fly to your side. Not as a samurai, perhaps. But I will nonetheless give our enemies cause to trouble. And with that, I take my leave. There he goes. I guess I wouldn't have been confused if he showed up. Well, unless he showed up as a healer. <laughs> That's an appropriate expression. Though it may be years, if not decades, until we truly make peace with our past, we have turned a corner and begun to heal. We may look to the future unburdened by grief ignored and sadness denied. The path ahead is ever fraught with peril, but we shall walk it with eyes unclouded, and with pride. You have done so much for us, for Doma. I wish there was more I could do for you. If I may ask one last favor before you leave, please inform our representative at Rods at Han that the blasphemy has been vanquished, and the people of Doma are safe. With any luck, our experiences here will prove useful to other nations that yet grapple with these beasts. <laughs> you got it. And now we return to Rad's at Handle. To finish up the second to last. We only have one more left. I think we shall be undertaking that one as a summer. Because I am not feeling like learning Pectomancer today and setting up that bar. I would like to be lazy. Right, hello, Doman Delegate. Master Dima, you are returned. What word from Doma? I fixed it. 
Also, you have a cult now. The blasphemy is no more. That is most wonderful news. I must inform the other delegates at once. Thank you again for answering our summons. If another threat should rear its he dastardly head, I pray we can count on your assistance again. Oh, I get all of this. You can now dye the job specific gear for level 90 physical range DPS. Did it! Okay, one last left. Magical range DPS. Alright. Well, I am going to take a short break so that I can rest my voice, get a snack in me, walk around, look away from the screen. Then I will return and we will do the magical DPS quest. And then hopefully the final little quest for all of Endwalker. Alright, I will see you shortly. Take care.